Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb. Today I'm gonna to introduce to you one of the most important tools and tactics you can have for any website, even if you have a website, a store, a content information site, lead generation, anything. The one of the most things that are underutilized that uh, very few are uh, focusing on is optimizing your website for conversions. Most businesses, after they build a nice website, they write some content, they make blogs, and they spend a lot of money on SEO, on ads, on social, all these things, but they forget to optimize their current conversions. They think whatever new changes they're going to do uh, are just going to work and everything's good and that's it. But there's tools, for example, what we're going to show in this video called, uh, called Google Optimize or Optimizely or others, but in this video we'll cover Google Optimize that help you do tests and experiments on the type of content changes you want to do and they'll show you data if your customers are converting better so you can deploy the things that are actually doing better for your business and your customers and your visitors. Google Optimize, A-B testing, redirect test, multivariate test, personalization, all these good things to help you optimize. Most businesses that we know do not do these things, but they're so, so important. And I'm gonna walk you through, show you an example or two, and I really recommend for every business to always run experiments, always make content and uh, changes, and look at the data, and make sure you're actually doing better for your website and for your business and for your customers, okay? So what I wanna do is show you an example of Optimize and show you some, uh, some of the types and a basic introduction to the system, and then you guys can go and uh, make experiments, improve your website, do better. And uh, of course, if you have any questions, let us know. We'll be happy to help uh, with any questions you have. Okay, so what I did is uh, we, have, we ran an experiment of one of our clients, and what we decided to do is we had some idea, which is uh, our website, uh, our contact form, which is a lead generation for one of our clients, is, is uh, performing pretty well, but we, f we felt that we could actually make it better. What we did is we actually redid the layout. All we, all we did is we kept everything the same, but we changed up the layout. We, we reorganized it. We made it look a little differently. And our assumption was, uh, or our guess was, okay, this is going to help convert better. And we ran an experiment for 35 days right here, and this is an example and actually perform really, really well. So this is the example I want to show. Um, so let, let's sh show some basics of this is a result that after we've run for 35 days, basically we compared the original form, which is a specific page with a contact form with a new variant, which is an, an, the new design that we made that we thought would perform better. And we let it run and we let it run for 35 days, collected 528 sessions, which are visitors that came to that page. And uh, out of that, um, there were 98 conversions, so 98 people filled out the original one and 96 filled out uh, the new design. Now, if you notice, it's the original is slightly more, but more people visited, uh, almost 300 people visited the original page, and then 234 people visited the new page, and they had conversions. So the most important thing you're going to look at is this one. How well did this page uh, convert, basically do some kind of business goal? versus the new page that you're trying to compare against. And if you notice, this is a really, really good uh, improvement, which is anybody who came to that contact page, 33% uh, of the people filled out that form. Uh, but with the new design, 41% of the people filled out the form. And so that's a really, really um, good improvement. Um, so although it looks like it's only 8% up or close to 8%, it's actually more than that because it's actually slightly over 20% improvement of the people. So if I had 100 people, I'll, I'll basically have 20 more people filling it out, right? So, so excuse me, if I have 100 conversions, I would actually have 120 conversions if I use this new design instead of the original. So why is that? If you take 33 and you multiply it by 1.2 or 1.2 a little bit, you'll get to 41. So it's actually more than 20% converting better. Uh, so once we saw that and Google uh, explained to us, oh, this is extremely high probability to be the best, we decided to deploy it, we set it live, and then we started getting more conversions and the business was much, much happier. Okay, um, and so Google is explained to you uh, the probability, and if it's good numbers like this, most likely you're okay to deploy it. If it's uh, not enough, not enough visits or not enough conversions, Google is going to tell you let's run it for longer. It'll change this text right here. It's really nice. The free tool, it's great. Uh, you can view some of the data and analytics. You can view your segments, for example. Uh, great stuff. So, what I want to do in the next part of this video is. I want to actually show you a little bit how to use Google Optimize, some basic concepts so you guys can go and experiment yourself and try to always improve your content layout, 
design, uh, and most importantly, user experience, okay? Uh, so what I did, I already have an account and I went to optimize.google.com. I created a new account and I want to actually create a new experience. So let's actually go ahead and let's start from the beginning, okay? So what is an experience? It's an actual a test that you want to run to compare one thing to the other to see if your uh, assumptions or your guesses or your information is correct. So what you need to do before you actually go to Google, figure out what do you want to test. So for example, let's just say an example. Let's say I want to change this content. I want to sell a certain product or something better. I just want to change this. Now you can change images. You can change a lot of things. Sometimes you need developer, but Google Optimize makes it so easy that in most cases, excuse me, in a lot of cases, you can do these things without a developer. And some, sometimes you need a little HTML knowledge, but it's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to create the first experiment. I'm going to change the home page um, intro content. Let's just call it. And I'm going to go and I'm going to take um, my home page URL. I'm going to put it here. And now this is the most important part. You're going to have to f figure out what kind of experiment do you want to test. A-B testing, multivariate, redirect, personalization, and banner. What are these in general? A-B test is when you want to take a specific page, you want to test two things. I want to test A, which is, for example, the original content, versus B, I want to test it versus some kind of change. Multivariate tests are similar to A-B tests, but you're going to test more than one part of the page. You're going to test, for example, two sections of the page. So for example, maybe I want to change this content, but maybe I also want to change the menu, and maybe I also want to change this section here. Okay. In general, uh, please be careful. If you test too many things at once, you might not know which one actually affected which uh, the conversions in a, in a better way. So I'd recommend to start first with very simple one A-B test. Just test this versus that. And then you can uh, test other things and you can start combining them later. Just be careful that you know where uh, these changes come from. Redirect test is very similar to A-B test, which is basically instead of change, sending, a, for example, 50% of the people to the original and 50% of the people to the new test uh, on the same page or the same URL, you can actually take some of the people uh, that, that go to your URL. For example, let's say 50% of people go here, but then 50% get redirected to newhomepage.html, just for example. So depending on how you want to develop these changes, how you want to test them, Sometimes we use the content management system, for example, WordPress or some other uh, CMS, and we actually create a new page because it's easy for us. Maybe we ask the developer, hey, make this new page, and then we use Google Optimize to just send people from one to the other. Uh, you can make the, same, the changes on the same page, or you can, make a, you can redirect some users from one to the other. Uh, personalization is uh, doing similar tests, but what you're doing is you're actually running um, some of the, con the content, you're actually showing it to very specific people. For example, uh, maybe I want to show the same homepage to everybody, but only mobile users are going to see the difference. So not everybody or not like 50% of the people, but very specific, like someone that's in Los Angeles going to see this. Someone's using a mobile phone is going to be seeing something different. Okay, and then banner template is an easy way for you to add like a top bar at the top right here and it could have some kind of promotion. For example, like a, uh, happy holidays or, you know, free uh, shipping today only or something like that. You can add like a nice bar very easily without a developer. So what, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to show one, one or two examples. Uh, I want to create A-B testing because I think it's the best one for you guys to focus on first if you're new at this, which is uh, the target of uh, what this video is for. So let's click on Create. Now, in order to create, you're going to have to set up some settings. You're going to have to install a uh, Google Optimize uh, Chrome extension. So if you have Chrome, you're going to go. You can also install it from here. If you haven't installed it when you create a new variant, for example, change content content on top. When you do that, you're going to basically click on edit on the variant. Let me show you. This is the original. Um, and for example, we're going to have 50% of people go to this and 50% go to the other. You can change this. When I click on edit, if you don't have the extension, it's going to take you here and you can install it. It's made by Google. It's used a lot. Uh, we use it a lot. And then what it does is it takes you to the page and it uses the extension to figure out by just clicking where which part of the code is what. So for example, you see I'm hovering over things. Um, if I want to just change this, I can. It, basically this extension just helps 
uh, remove some code requirements you see on the top right here you see it actually tells you where it is but if you're not a developer it's gonna help you so let's say I click here and I can have all these like font sizes colors paddings things like that or I can click here to edit my text or ed edit the HTML and I can literally edit this part so if you don't know HTML try to do um, edit text right here and you can literally do whatever you want okay so for example we're specialists blah 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 etc okay um, and so what you can do is you can do the HTML and no, one thing that's I interesting if you have a developer they can do things right from here but uh, one of the interesting things is you can not just replace the content you can also insert append add to the end add to the beginning things like that okay so let's say I want to change this and I want to change it to be called um, just for example um, we now offer let's say e-commerce consulting just for example this is what I want to to test okay and you can change and okay so let's click on done and then I can change this here I can change images as well I can change the the image right here I can edit it I can do many things and you can do a lot of different things here right you can change links uh, pretty much anything when you finish it very important before let's save first this is a change so for example we only change this um, you can change sliding banners many other things what I want to do is I want to test very thoroughly with other devices because the world is multi-device I want need to make sure that when I made changes I didn't break something right okay so you see here it's loading this is the original when it loads it'll show the difference of what we change right there right there so it changed uh, everything looks good okay great so now let's say I finished let's say I tested everything responsive etc I click on done okay and now when I click on done let's assume that I, I'm good with this I don't want to change anything now I'm gonna click on targeting so which page will this specific change happen so for example only the home page note that if you edit it um, when you put the page in if you do specific things for example contains so for example I can uh, have this change apply to many pages if that element on the page that I selected is actually available on all these other pages um, so I go here and then if I did things like contains or matches I can double check my URLs uh, for example make sure I didn't make a mistake or doing something incorrect after that I'm gonna specify who I'm targeting so 50% of all the visitors 50% 50 or I can click on customize and I can change that for example you can do by uh, device or by specific query or by city or things like that right okay after that I'm gonna need to add my Google Analytics I'm gonna have to link Google Analytics and make sure I add a specific goal into Google Analytics so we know what to compare the con right the most important part is the conversions if we're making a change but we don't know what to analyze then that's not helpful so here the conversion part right so you're gonna have to add some conversion I can click on link to analytics I can find my specific property I can click here for example let's go here astral astral web right there this one and I'm gonna add my specific view for example this one okay once you add your Google Analytics assuming you have the same account now you're gonna s select the objective this is the most important part so you're gonna choose from your list and you're gonna look at all the goals you have if you don't have goals you have to create goals which is a, let's go right here okay and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on goals and then you're gonna have the specific goal itself make sure you create it that's a topic for a different video but make sure you have a goal based on conversion or sale or whatever uh, your website uh, objective is okay and then you're gonna go and let's say for example this is my objective I click on it I selected it and then I'm good and then what I do is I'm gonna click here on check installation when I do that I'm gonna have to verify that what I did is correct it's gonna actually give uh, my users 50% here 50% there I'm just gonna double check before I deploy it okay if it's if it's good it'll say it's good but there is some if, if, uh, information there is some issues and the issue here is I didn't install my Google uh, optimized code so actually it, it doesn't really know what to do um, if you don't install the code uh, like right now we can see the changes because we have the browser but or, excuse me the browser extension but when you um, 
when your visitors visit the website, if you don't have the Google optimized code, it's not going to know when to change what because there's no code that's doing the action. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to click on optimize, excuse me, right here. Let's go here. I'm going to go to back to experience. And I'm going to get the code itself and I'm going to actually put it in my website. Okay, this you'll obviously have to have a developer help with this. Let's go here. Let's go back. Let's go right there. Um, settings. Okay, and this is the code itself. Set up in instructions. You're going to have to do this one time. Put it in the head. I'm just going to. Okay. So now we've installed the code on our head on all pages. And so now what we can do is just double check that the code is installed. Okay, so let's go here and optimize. So you see the code is here in the head, no problem. So now we're going to go back and we're going to check everything is okay. So we're going to go back here, go to the experiment and go to the bottom. We're going to have to double check, check the installation. If everything is good, it's going to say, okay, this is good and it's ready to run. Okay. Let's try one more time. Retry. Okay, great. So now everything is good. Now we can go back to the experience and we can deploy it. Let's go right here. Okay, if everything is good, we, if we want to receive email notifications, let's do that. And then we want to have traffic allocation to everybody. All the visitors are going to have this. We're going to split it up to 50-50. If everything's good, I can click on start. And if I do that, I'm going to click on start right here. And my experiment is starting. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now you need to make sure that it's running for enough time. And then it's going to gather conversions and have all the data just like we had right here. And when, every, when there's a conclusion, we can go there. When there's a conclusion, you can actually click on deploy or in most cases you can, you can start it and then you can deploy it yourself and then that's it. Um, other than that, other than that um, let's see a few other things that are very important. Um, create experience. Um, that's it. I think, I think they're all very, very similar. So once you understand the A-B testing, these are all very, very similar uh, for it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the best thing you can do is experiment with your website, create new content, change your banners, play with menus, um, change as much as you can so you can understand how customers use. There's a lot of psychology. These things matter. Colors matter. Button sizes matter. Content matters. Uh, playing with promotions, playing with personalization, they convert well. We do really, really good with some of our clients. And uh, no matter what, you need to test out the data of what you're trying to do. Hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, uh, please let us know. Give us detail and we'll help with as best as we can. Appreciate. Uh, please also join the YouTube channel. Uh, comment. Tell us what you think about it, what we can improve, uh, and what kind of videos you're looking for. Much, much appreciated, guys. Thank you.